What's goody? Welcome back, it's your boy Liquid Ice. And today, 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 we got another scary game for y'all. A little short, little scary game for y'all. Where I gotta use my smarticles. I gotta use my smarticles. You go through school all your life. You like, when the hell am I gonna use this math? This joint ain't gonna help me. Nothing's this. Nothing's that. Why this? Why that? But hey, today it comes into fruition. We gonna have to use math to save some people. This game is called the Math Problem Killer. Supposedly they uh. This, this dude, he got some people locked up in a in a, in a little chamber or wherever they got him locked up in, and he uses it. I have to use math to get them out, to save their life. And if I get it wrong, they're, you feel me? So, hey, we're going to have to put my smarticles to the test and see if I'm really built like that. I think I am, man, so let's get into it. I can't find my phone. I can't find my phone. I can't find my phone. Yes, sir. All right, let's begin, yeah. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Special Agent, thank you for coming in. Please, have a seat. I am Senior Special Agent in Charge, Benjamin Anderson. I am the head of the Serial Killer Task Force, and I like to have one-on-one -on -one meetings with every agent that joins our team. Now, normally, there is an easing-in period for new agents, but unfortunately, that is not going to happen for you. As you are aware, the Serial Killer Task Force has arrived in the city of New Columbia at the request of the city mayor as well as the state governor. A prolific murderer, the local news media is referring to as the math problem killer, is loose on the streets and our task force needs to hunt him down. Our arrival, however, has not gone unnoticed by the suspect. He has sent a message. He is holding a hostage, Bethany Morgan, at an abandoned construction site at 5678 Maple Avenue. In his message, he indicated that I may send in an agent inside to attempt a rescue, but I may only send one agent. He also said that that agent may not have any contact with the outside. Now here is where you come in. I have reviewed your career performance thus far before joining the task force. It is impressive and consistent with the level of dedication and excellence that we expect in this organization. That is why I am choosing you to be that one agent that we send inside. As you step into this crucial role within our task force, tasked with the monumental responsibility of entering this facility alone, I must stress the importance of methodical and calculated action. I do not know what you are going to find in there, so use your head. All right, Agent. That is all I got. Now get inside and bring Bethany Morgan out alive. Good luck. All right, all right, all right. Eat and interact with doors. Eat and interact with radios. You know what's crazy? This is my first time on a job and you give me something like this? They really believe in me. I got somebody's life in my hands. Better yet, in my head, in my brain, you feel me? Okay, that's dark as hell. Eat and interact doors, eat and interact radio. Okay. Welcome to my little game, Special oh my goodness. Agent. As I indicated in my introductory message, Bethany Morgan is currently in a large metal box located somewhere in this facility. Atop the metal box are two large containers of hydrofluoric acid. Any mistake on your part will cause the hydrofluoric acid to flood the metal box with Bethany. You see, that is the brilliance of my little game. I won't kill Bethany Morgan. You will. Jigsaw ass nigga, yo. Do you want to know how I found Bethany? Delicious? How I found my delicious little Bethany? I went to where you find all the pretty little young mommies. I went to the elementary school at 47th Street around 3 p.m. when school gets out. All the mommies show up. It's like a candy store special agent. So I waited and I watched. Candy store crazy. You just snatched up somebody's mother while they was waiting for their kid. It's crazy. I was there for 17 minutes and then I saw her. A curvy brunette with a ponytail and tight black yoga pants. Her name was Bethany Morgan. She was 28 years old. 
She picked up three kids. It was a carpool, special agent. As she pulled out of the school, I began following her. I knew she was the one. I knew she was the one. Three minutes later, I was outside her house. It was time to get close to Bethany Morgan. She need a... Uh, I guess she didn't have a ring camera. She ain't had no blicks in the crib, and the doors was unlocked. She sounded like one of them. Oh, that's the door right there? You think you're smart, don't you, Special Agent? You don't even know me, you dog. Think you can solve my puzzles? Yes, I do. Well, let's find out. I want you to start with Bethany Morgan's age, and then multiply it by the number of minutes I was waiting at the school before I saw her. Then add the number of minutes it took us to reach her house. Finally, multiply by the number of kids she picked up. The final answer will open door number one. Okay, something like that. I don't know how, how long it took. Okay, so she was 28. 28 times 17. I'm doing, I'm not going to try to do that in my head. Should I try to do it in my head? I'm not, hold on. 28 times 17. And she said added by the time she he waited out there. 28 times 17. Let's see how smart I am. So I'm the agent. I'm definitely having something with me. These numbers might get big though. 28 times 17. 7, 8. What that's 52, right? Yeah, 52. 56. 56. A lot of boring math later. 480, what was it? 486? Hey, let me check my math. Let me make sure. Let me check my math. 476. Okay, I messed up. I would have been murdered. 476. You said do what? You think you're smart, don't you, special agent? You think you can solve my puzzles? Well, let's find out. I want you to start with Bethany Morgan's age and then multiplied by the number of minutes I was waiting at the school before I saw her. Mm -hmm. Then add the number of minutes it took us to reach her house. Minutes it took to reach the house. Finally, multiply by the number of kids she picked up. Minutes it took to reach the house. Okay, minutes it took to reach the house. 48. 48 minutes later, you said multiply by 48 or add, add 48? Add 48 would make it 5... I want to say 524 plus 48. Yep, 524 times 3, right? Multiply Final the number of kids you picked up. Number of kids so it's 524 times 3. 3, 4, 12, 2, 1, 3, 2, 6, plus the 1. 12, 13, so 3. 3, 5, 15, 1, yeah, 15, what'd I say? 15, 72, 15, 72, times 3, 15, 72, okay, I got 15, 72. Let me tell you what will happen if you enter the wrong code, special agent, which I know you will. A radio signal. From those devices on the door will be sent to the two large drums of hydrofluoric acid sitting I got you. Atop I'm cool. I got, the, and I got the number. I believe. And I fact check. Bethany Morgan. The radio signals will cause the valves on the drums to open, thereby allowing the hydrofluoric acid to flood the metal box. Do you have any idea what hydrofluoric acid will do to human skin? I got you. Be Gucci. 1572 I should get what the hell is this? Alright, hold up. I'm about to get some paper. What should I keep doing it mentally? And then fact check like that. I think that's cheating if I fact check, right? What I want to do is, I want to make it
I got some paper. What I'm going to do is, okay, I think I'm going to go. I'm going to write it down. I'm going to write it down. And I'm not going to use my calculator. Because at first, I did it with the mad mental math, and I fact check with the calculator. So I just write it down. I don't know. I'm trying to make it so a possibility of me messing up. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm, that's what I want to get to. Or should I just do straight off the mental? I ain't done math like that. I'm going to have to write it down. Because if I'm in a situation like this, I'm finding something. I'm breaking off a piece of cinder block or something. I'm writing it in the wood. Like, I'm going to be fact checking crazy. So, I'm, I guess I do it like... I do it like I, I like say I would be etching something in some wood. You feel me? I'm not going to use the calculator. After dropping off the other two kids, we finally reached Bethany Morgan's house around 4 p.m. I began to watch my sweet little Bethany. I got close to the house. You would be surprised how close you can get to someone without them noticing. Sometimes I could hear her breathing. I learned the third child was her son, Carl Morgan, age 8. And he was going to the babysitter tomorrow at 1 p.m. And that Bethany was married to some troglodyte named Stanley Morgan, age 36. If I was going to get my private time with Bethany, then Stanley needed to be disposed of. Okay, so what okay, so what I got okay, after she dropped the two kids off, she reached her crib at 4 p.m. The third kid was her son, and he was eight. Eight. I feel like eight's important. 4 p.m. She's go, little nigga was going to the babysitter. What time little nigga was going to babysitter? I, I gotta re re listen to that one. But her husband was 36 years old. Her husband's 36 years old. Freaky ass killer, dog. Okay, 1 p.m. Okay, he said he had to dispose of little of yo. Okay, so there's a couple. Whoa, there's hella doors. What the hell? Hold on. Okay, doors got numbers on it. There goes number two. Okay, so I guess we go there next. There goes two, three, and then boom. I guess she's in there. Okay, so let me listen to these things. I listened to this one already. Okay. Let me listen. To, what's this? At 9 a.m., Stanley got into his car and left the house. I saw an opportunity to remove him from my playtime with Bethany. I followed him. He drove 13 minutes to the nearest grocery store. A public abduction was risky, but necessary for my lovely Bethany. Because she was mine now. She just didn't know it yet. Okay. He, uh, he think about abducting Stanley. That was her husband. Stanley was the husband. He said he left that nod to him. 13 minutes to get to the store. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we piecing this together. Okay. We getting right. We getting right. Stanley came out of the store with his hands okay. full of grocery bags. When he got to his car, he fiddled with his keys. At that moment, I walked up to him with my hand raised and smiling. I pretended to know him. He paused and tried to remember me. That was a mistake. This allowed me to get real close. As soon as I was within arm's distance, I tasered him. As he was convulsing, I pushed him into the car and duct taped his arms, legs, and mouth. Then I casually grabbed his keys and drove away. Okay, that had no numbers in it. That had no numbers in it. But I'll leave that blank. This is what he did to Stanley? 47 minutes after I abducted him, I had Stanley strapped to a table. I asked him a math question. If he answered correctly, I asked him another, and another, and another. When he answered incorrectly, I shipped a nail through his body. After 47 minutes, Stanley received two nails in his right arm. Two nails in his left arm, nine nails in his torso, eight nails in his right leg, 
and nine nails in his left leg. The evidence right there. Can you, can you count the amount of nails? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to listen to it again. I'd rather him tell me again. Damn, he missed hella questions. <laughs> Stanley low ass don't know no math. Hold up. Stanley low ass ain't know no math. He said if he got it right, he asked another. If he messed up, he shove a nail in his body. 47 minutes. Stanley little dumb ass was two nails. He two nails in his right arm, two nails in his left arm, nine in his torso, eight in his right leg, nine in his left leg. How the fuck? How he get through school? What questions was he asking? That's what I want to know. I'm like, hey, let me take my time with these questions. Damn, that's two, four, <laughs> two, four, twelve. What's that? 21. Damn, he asked him 30. He got 30 questions wrong. And if they question like that, you gotta give me some time to think. Damn, Stanley. I don't like my man's footsteps. They sound crazy. I want you to start with Stanley's age and then multiply by the number of nails in Stanley's left leg. Then multiply by the number of nails in his torso. Then finally, multiply by the number of nails in his left arm. Your answer will open door number two. Did you get all of that special agent? Because if you didn't, Bethany burns. Okay, so Stanley's age by amount of nails in his left leg by the times the amount of nails in his torso times the amount of nails in his left arm. Oh, one more time, one more time. I want you to start okay. with Stanley's age. Uh huh. And then multiply by the number of nails in Stanley's left leg. Left leg, uh huh. Multiply by the number of nails in his torso. In his torso, okay. And finally, multiply by the number of nails in his left arm. Okay, so. Your answer will open door number two. Did you get all of that special agent? You go to D2. If you didn't, Bethany Burns. But you didn't. Okay, so Stanley. Stanley is 36. I'm about to show you these notes, and this is how I got through school. 36, 9, 9 in the torso, and his left arm is 2, and that would equal to, okay, so I got to actually do this, 36 times 9, so I got 324, right, is that right, I think so, 9, 4, that's 32, I want to say, no, that's 36. I got 29, 16. 9, 16 multiplied by 2. I'm going to just do this off the dome. Okay, so I'm getting the number to door 2. I got 58, 32. I'm about to show y'all my math. My math breakdown. Look, look at the breakdown. Look at the breakdown. Okay. So we start up here with what he was telling us. I know you're probably like, this is, what the hell? You can't even read that. Hey, that's mine. I, that's all. all I, only person need to know what that say is me and we got to break down the math gucci i look like i'm doing math like a middle schooler but hey you gotta fact check yourself let's see how much smarter i got and that opens door too i hope this is right i'm not i ain't fact checking none of that let's see let's see let's see let's go shorty page two All right, all right, all right, let's log in. Skirt me a little bit, I ain't gonna leave. I ain't gonna leave. They took the churn too? He took the kid too? I ain't gonna lie, there's hella, hella things in here. Now that Stanley was just a pile of meat on my table, I quickly returned to Bethany's house. I was just in time. She was taking Carl, age 8, to the babysitters. It was 1 p.m. I followed them for 39 minutes.
1 p.m. You, you say you fought him for 39 minutes? You know, Special Agent, the safety of the children in this city has really gone downhill. It is almost as if a complete stranger can walk into a babysitter's home and do horrible things. You should really look into that special agent. This dude a freak! Freak ass yeah, young boy. With Carmen tied to a chair and with her mouth duct taped shut. Hold on, I hold on, hold on. He's for Carl. I found him in the back room playing with seven. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Skip something. I want you to start with Carl's age room. Then multiply by the number of minutes I followed Bethany to the babysitters. You will next multiply by the number of trucks Carl was playing with. The answer will be variable A, special agent. Oh, this oh he getting freaky with it. I ain't gonna lie, he getting freaky with it. There's a lot of memory and memorization. Okay, hold on, hold on. With Carmen. I guess Carmen's the name of the, the shorty. Duct tape shut. I went looking for Carl. I found him in the back room playing with seven little toy trucks. He would move one and save room. Then move another and save room. I grabbed him. Carl playing with seven trucks. Okay. Seven trucks. Put a star by that. Okay. I want you to start with Carl's age. Then multiply by the number of minutes I followed Bethany to the babysitters. You will next multiply by the number of trucks Carl was playing with. The answer will be variable A, special agent. It will be equal to variable A. Okay, hold on. He said multiply. Okay, 8 and 39. 9872, I know that. 8324, 247, 31. Yep, 247, 31. Okay. Now it's 312 times 7. 7 times 2, 14. 7, 1, add one more. 8, 7, 3 is 21. 2184. 2184 is equal to variable A. Okay, let's pull that. 2184 is variable A. So I'm going to need that. Variable A. All right. Now I got variable A. All right, let's see how freak this get. Don't worry, special agent. Carl is very much alive. For now. In fact, he's very close by. You see, I knew I could not separate mother from child. I put him in the crate with Bethany. So now, if you make a mistake, you are not just killing Bethany, but her young son as well. Think carefully, Special Agent. Your mistakes have consequences. You gonna let me murk him, yo? I hope, like, just at the end of this game, they just let me get him and fire off on dog. I would love to do that. Bethany's babysitter was Carmen Russell. She was 42. After Bethany dropped off Carl, I waited for 15 minutes, and then I entered the house. The door wasn't locked. It was almost too easy. Okay, he waited for 15 minutes. Carmen, old as hell. As I entered the house, I saw Carmen scrolling through her phone in the kitchen. I stood there for 76 seconds, deciding whether to kill her or play with her. She was pretty. I made my decision. I walked up behind Carmen, grabbed her hair, and slammed her head into the counter. It was time to play. Oh, this, this dude is a freak. I want you to start with Carmen's age, and then multiply by the number of seconds I waited deciding whether I was going to kill or play with her. Then add the number of minutes I waited before entering the house. Your answer will be variable B. Okay. Okay. You know when a, when a, 
eraser get like a pencil so old like the eraser just makes smudge marks like look at that so Carmen age shorty was 42 42 multiply that by 76 you want to and she said to multiply that by the 15 minutes he waited was equal to variable B variable B okay so 76 times 42 62 12, 1, 6, 4, 24, right? Yeah, that's 24. Plus 1, 25, 252, 0, 7, 2, 14, 7, 4 is uh, that 21? Yeah, no. 24. Oh, 28. My fault. 28. Uh, the blunder. 28. So, plus 1, 29. 29. 2, 9, 11. 31, 92. Times 15. 5, 2, 10. 5, 9. 45, 46. 5, 4, 9. Five three fifteen zero two nine one three add that up you get zero eight eight seven four so we got forty seven eight eight zero is equal to variable B Okay. Right? Let's hope that's right. Listen up, special agent. One mistake and Bethany dies. And so does her son. You must add variable A to variable B. The answer will open door number three. Okay, so variable A plus variable B equal to door three. Okay, so let me look. 2184. 2184 and 47880. Okay, so 2184 plus 47880 is equal to door three. Okay. Okay. Make sure I, I made. I make sure I did it all right. Eight zero. Twenty one eighty four. Four six. Ten. Ten. I got five zero zero six four is equal to D3. I definitely wouldn't be able to do this all in my head. I tied the babysitter to a chair and stood in front of her. She cried. The tears rolled down her face. I told her I was going to ask her a simple math problem. If she got it right, I would let her go. If she got it wrong, well, I told her what was going to happen, what I was going to do. As soon as I was done, she screamed. She knew she could not solve the problem. So I grabbed my knives, and I began my work. It was glorious. You know how long it took him to probably set all this up? Like, oh, he's really freak. Door three, man. Let's see if I'm locked in. Let's see if I'm locked in, yo. Five. Zero, zero, six, four. What? Hold on, brother. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, hold on. I get out of here. I get out of here. 
That don't make sense. How are you gonna have me multiply all these big ass numbers and there's only oh 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 number two? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, that's where I messed up at. That's where I messed up at. I wasn't supposed to multiply the 15. I was supposed to add the 15. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm locked in. Damn, I. If they would have allowed me to put that many numbers, I would have killed them. Oh, I would have killed them. All right. So 3207 plus 2184. 11. 9. 3, 5. 5391. 5391. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, okay. All right. He got hung up like that. Stanley just quivered and did what he was told. He was selfish. He was afraid. Stanley was more concerned about his personal well-being than that of his wife and child. And now he is dead. And the babysitter is dead. And I had Carl. And I was inside their house. Just me and Bethany. Weirdo, weirdo, weirdo. When I had Stanley bleeding and strapped to my table, I made him call Bethany and tell her that he was going to pick up Carl for a father-son evening and to not worry about the babysitter. Stanley could have taken that moment on the phone to alert his wife, to scream out a warning. But he did not. In the end, in those final moments, Stanley only thought of his own survival. Now that's fucked After up. Minutes, I was able to peel away the fake layers and expose the real Stanley Morgan. Stanley did not deserve my Bethany. Bethany was mine. Oh, hell no. That's a hard one, though. Because, I don't know, did he tell him that he was after his, his daughter? That's, no, okay, so there's a couple things. One, oh, no, 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 no. Does he know that he's after his wife or he think he's just after him? Cause then if he thinks he's just after them, like, oh he got me. Let me make let me make sure my, my wife all calm, you know. I don't know if he told him his whole plan, but now it's crazy. Don't leave our son, Shorty. Do you like playing house, special agent? I like to play house. I was going to play house with Bethany. I entered the home at 7 p.m. I could hear giggling and laughter. Bethany had called over her neighbor, Stacy Beecham. She was 36, and they were having a little wine party together. Damn, he didn't kill Stacy too. He entered at 7, pulled up on Stacy. Stacy, 36. How you get the age of Stacy? I'll be back next week. As I approached the girly giggles on the couch in the living room, I grabbed a meat cleaver from the kitchen. I then entered the living room, approached Stacy, and swung into her neck. She was dead 11 seconds later. Bethany screamed and froze as I knew she would. These suburban housewives are so weak. I jumped on her, threw her to the ground, and duct taped her legs, mouth, and arms. Nah, Merck can show you the meat cleaver. Crazy. I want you to start with Stacy Beecham's age. Then multiply it by the time I entered the house. Then multiply your answer by the number of seconds it took Stacy to die. The answer will open the final door, Special Agent. The door to the room with Bethany and Carl. But if you enter the wrong answer into the keypad, as I know you will, Special Agent, they both burn alive. 
So I got 242. 7 and 6 is 36. No. 7 and 6 is 42. Oh, almost sold. Almost sold. Almost sold. 7 times 3 is 21. 21 plus 4. 25. So that's 252. Almost sold. Crazy. And you got to multiply that by 11. 2520252. Add it on. 27. So I got 2772 is equal to the final door. Make sure I got that right because I almost sold. And what's okay? I will be back next week. Um, okay. Let's go save Stacy. Is that Stacy? No. Bethany. Let's go save Beth. We're on our way, Beth. The moment of truth. 2772. Oh, he lied to me. Oh, she in that box right there. Oh, oh, Sherbert, it's not over. Let me get a new page for this. Get a new page. It all comes down to the numbers, uh -huh. special agent. Harmless little numbers. I feel you. The right ones Come on. will free Bethany Morgan from this nightmare. Mm -hmm. The wrong ones will burn her and her son Carl alive. Let's hope you have the right numbers. Okay. Special Come agent. On. Hope I got the right numbers. You think you're smart, mm -hmm. don't you, Special Agent? I do. You think you can solve my puzzles? I doubt it. I want you to start with Bethany's age and multiply it by Carl's age. The answer will be variable A. You know what's crazy? Because if you didn't think that I'd be able to make it this far, you wouldn't have made shit this far. You feel me? So, obviously you believed in me. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I need. As long as this killer believed in me, that's all I needed. That's enough belief and motivation I need. That's all I'm saying. Best age and Carl's age is variable A. Okay. I'm going to do that after I figure out all the other things because there's going to be a couple other variables. So. I want you to start with Stacy's age okay. and multiply it by the time it took her to die. The answer will be variable B, special agent. Variable B. Okay. And what else we need? What's the last thing we need? I want you Add variable A to variable B. If your answer is odd, then enter it into the crate keypad holding Bethany and Carl Morgan. If the answer is even, then I want you to add the number of nails in Stanley's right leg. Is that too complicated for you, special? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, that is the point. Now enter the wrong okay. answer and burn them alive. He said, if even, put it in. And if it's odd, he said, add the number. Add the number of nails in his left leg. Okay, so I know Carl's age. Carl's eight. Beth was, I think she was like 36. Yeah. No, her husband was 36. Beth was 28, something like that. Oh, uh, I didn't write that one down. But you know what? I do have it written down in here. Okay, so yeah, she was 28. Beth was 28 times eight. 28, 8, 6, no. That's 8 and 8. That's 64. 4, 8, 2 is 16 plus 6. That's 22. Variable A. Okay. Okay. So what's her name? I know by her time. She died in 11 seconds. It says 11 seconds. Okay, so Stacy was it Stacy's age? Or was it Stanley's age? I want you to start. Okay, Stacy's age. So Stacy was 36. 36 and 11. Okay. 36 by 360. 6, 9, 396 equal to variable B. Okay, so 224 plus 396, that is equal to, 
it's gonna be an even number. So we gotta add plus how many was in his right leg? I wanna say it was nine in his right leg. It was actually eight. Eight in his right leg. Plus eight. And that's equal to code. Okay, two twenty four. That's a very little amount of numbers that I'd expect. Let me make sure it's right. Six. It's a lot less than the numbers. Hold on, hold on. He said add. So variable A and variable B use 620, 620 plus 8. 628. And it said add it. Okay, so I started thinking a little messed up. Okay, we're going to see. Okay, he says add. All of them have been four numbers, right? All of them have been four numbers. And he says if it's odd. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out. Okay, okay, okay. Where the hell Carl ass at though? He said he was in a box near or something. I don't even see where Carl at. We going with 628. So we'll see. I'm going with 628. If it's wrong, uh, that's it's messed up because it was right. So 628. All right, everybody. Let's get this briefing started. Instead of doing this at the tax center, I wanted to do it here, in front of this wall. We will be conducting these briefings in the suspect's dungeons from now on. I want to first begin by congratulating our new special agent for entering the serial killer's facility and successfully disarming five traps Sir. and then recovering Bethany Morgan, as well as her young son, Carl Morgan. That is outstanding work. That success has bought us some time. Now it's time for us to get hunting. Let's establish a detailed timeline of Bethany Morgan's movements leading up to her disappearance. Now the recordings recovered in this facility describe the events of the abduction, but for all we know, the killer could have made everything up. I want to verify everything and make our own timeline. Let's conduct extensive interviews with Bethany Morgan's friends, family, and acquaintances. Look for any possible connections. Is our suspect a friend? A jilted romantic interest? Was Bethany Morgan randomly picked or was there a history? Be thorough. The details matter. Finally, let's start to put together a profile for this math problem killer. Let's start to get into this guy's head. Alright everybody, we have not seen the last of this guy and I want to get him before he grabs another innocent person. Let's get to work. One week later, the influencer murders. Special Agent, it has been one week and the task force has received a second video from the math problem killer. He got another Good one? Luck. I thought I was done. I can't find my phone, I can't find my phone. I can't find my phone.